Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to another unboxing video today. This is actually very special because it actually took me a couple steps to even get my hand on one. I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with this brand or if you guys ever even heard of it. The name of this brand is Goros. Before I get into my first piece of Goros, I'm gonna first talk about some history of it. I keep doing unboxing video on Chrome Hearts and stuff and I just got back from Vegas. Like Chrome Hearts is like the top silver jewelry brand for like worldwide but it's from the US. And Goros is like the same version of it but from Japan. The difference is Goros is so much more exclusive in terms of how you can get a piece of Goros. The brand Goros was started by Goro Takahashi. I don't know if you guys know anything about the brand. If I show you guys a couple photo, you probably have seen these. They make feathers and also eagle pendants, feather rings, all kinds of different silver jewelry. Online, if you search it, of course there's gonna be a lot of Goros online, but I'm telling you it's very hard to get the authentic item. Before I get into that, let's talk about how this brand got started. Goros, he actually learned all his techniques from the Native Americans and he combined it with the Japanese style and created all these jewelry. It's very hard to get Goros because Goros, unlike all the other brands, there's only one location, one store in this entire world, which is in Tokyo. So I've never been to the actual store but I'm gonna talk about what I found online and why is it so hard to get. The way Goro's work is if the store decides to open on the day, it's gonna post a Twitter post from their Twitter account and it's gonna list the details of that day in terms of lining up for getting into the store. And they're gonna list out certain birth months. What that means is if your birthday is not in those months, you can't even go and line up. The store opens at 1 p.m. in the afternoon. What happened is starting at 10 a.m., you're already gonna see a huge line outside the store. And they're gonna have staff checking all your passports to make sure that your birthday is within those birth months. And then what happened is at 11, there's gonna be two staff who walks out the store with an iPad, and then it's like a lottery system. So. Based on the line, you walk up to that iPad and then you gotta hit this button where it's gonna shuffle and show up a number. And if you're not in like the first hundreds, there's a slim chance that even if you get into a store, you could get anything. Also, the crazy part is even you got a number that's very upfront, they also look at the way you present yourself the way you dress, the stuff you wear, the jewelry you put on, and then if they don't think you're suitable for the brand, they would actually reject your entry and basically ask you to leave. You're talking about some people would line up seven years for Goros and they probably only got like three pieces. Goros didn't do this just to make his brand very exclusive. He did it because he wants everyone who got his item to basically treasure the item. and think it's something that will basically be along with you for a lifetime. He wants the customer to feel his life experience because when he first got to meet the Native Americans, they don't really welcome outsiders. And it took him a very long time living with them to actually get to know them and make them consider him as a part of them so he can learn all these techniques to make these silver jewelry. He ended up actually did it and they even gave him a name, which is Yellow Eagle. That's why Goro's logo is a yellow eagle. I want to also share my experience. This time, of course, I didn't go to Japan and actually line up for Goro's. So I kept searching online and I found one trustable reseller. The store name is actually Delta One. They're pretty big in Japan. They got like locations almost all around Japan and also they have their first international location which is the Hong Kong location. I'm not sure if you guys know, I grew up in Hong Kong so I actually contacted Delta One in Hong Kong and they were very friendly. And the reason why I trust Delta One in getting my girls is because 
there's a lot of reseller that will tell you oh we sell authentic goros and we give you something called a guarantee card it basically is a card that just tells you they say this item is authentic the difference from those reseller to delta one is delta one also issued you a guarantee card but the cool thing is delta one's guarantee card guarantees your item basically forever what that means is if your item was ever found unauthentic or someone say it's fake, they will recheck the item. And if it is fake, they're gonna issue a full refund as long as you keep your guarantee card. That's why I'm not saying you should get it from Delta One or any reseller, but I'm just saying if you ever get it from Delta One, definitely keep the guarantee card with you because that's basically your proof of purchase. So now I'm actually gonna get into my first piece of Goros. So when you purchase from Delta One, it comes with a Delta One logo leather bag, kind of like the Chrome Hearts bag a little bit. And then because the guarantee card has the item specific information, I'm not gonna show the actual guarantee card, but I'm gonna show you the back. So the back of the guarantee card just says Delta One right there. The front, it has a serial number or a QR code on the corner to let them basically find out this transaction history. And it has the product detail name, the item number, the weight of the product, and also the date you purchased the product. So they know exactly the feather you bring back is the actual feather you purchased from them, if there is any issue, of course. And they even gave me a little postcard. And then the actual item comes in a Delta One black box. From my research, Goros, if you purchased it in the Goros store, there's actually no packaging. It never comes with any packaging. Delta One basically made their own packaging. And as you can see, this is my first piece of Goros. It's a feather pendant. And the cool thing is, Goros, you can actually set it up yourself however way you want. It's my first piece, so I actually went with a brown leather cord. I added the red beads to kind of like add that feeling to it. And then I also, of course, the pendant goes with the cord and the beads. So now this is a close-up of my first piece of Goros. Every style, there's two side faces. It's either facing left or right. You could basically pick whichever side you prefer. You can also add more than one feather on your setup, which is pretty cool. For this feather, I specifically pick. It has the turquoise color stone on it. In Goros, I think it means brave and energy, I guess. And then... Back there on the top part of the feather, there's a leaf that's made out of 18 karat gold. And then of course the main body of the feather is silver. The detail of the feather is insane. Like it literally looks like a real feather. And you can see right here, it has all these actual detail spacing and you can actually see through it. And on the back of all the Goro's feather, it will have the Yellow Eagle logo, which I'm not sure if it's focusing on it because it's pretty small. I think you can kind of see it, it's right here. It's all hand carved in, which is very sick. If you ever think of getting a piece, you should get it because the value is just gonna keep going up. And if you ever come by a piece that's actually made by Goro Takahashi himself, those prices are skyrocket right now. Any questions or any sort of things you wanna know about Goros, feel free to comment down below. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I'll be posting a lot of stuff and showing you guys more and more stuff in detail that maybe you have never heard of. So stay tuned. Peace. <laughs>